This week, we begin from West Africa, and there is a new friend that has been beckoned by Niger, which recently severed ties with France and the U.S., with the junta government demanding the full withdrawal of their troops from the nation. Can you guess who their new partner is? I will let our cover report answer that for you. Protests and huge demos are the new normal in West Africa. This is Niamey, the capital of Niger, where hundreds thronged the streets just weeks ago. The last US troop deployment left, and months prior to the American departure, French troops also exited the country. We don't want Americans on our territory. And by the way, it is not just the American military base. We don't want them on our territory because we can't understand it. And now there is a new guest in Niger, Russia. This is the Ilyushin 76 transporter plane touching down at the country's international airport. Niger's state television reported that 100 Russian military instructors reached the Sahel nation to train their forces in the use of new Russian military hardware. We are here to train Niger's army using the military equipment that has arrived. It's equipment for different military specialities, for promoting military specialities. We are here to develop military cooperation between Russia and Niger. Since its July 2023 coup, the military junta that seized power in Niamey has kicked out French and European forces. It also quit the economic community of West African state's regional bloc. It's a trend that exists and we can afford it insofar as the Russians will be here as part of a win-win cooperation. Diversifying doesn't mean choosing sides. And until I have proof to the contrary, I don't think Niger has chosen Russia's side against the other blocs. We sided with Russia because it offers us the opportunity to equip ourselves militarily, to equip our space, to ensure its security. At the protest site, a handwritten sign in English read, God curse USA in a show of support for the junta and its mid-March decision to revoke an accord that allowed around 1,000 US military personnel to operate out of two bases. Speculation of Russian President Vladimir Putin touring the Sahel or West Africa has grown recently. The Kremlin hasn't issued any statement or clarification. The arrival of Russian military instructors and equipment is further evidence of the junta's openness to closer cooperation with Moscow. A few Russian flags were visible at the protest, but citizens were still apprehensive about the Russian defense assistance in Niger. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.